Hi Willow class and anybody else who might be listening, I hope you're all well and keeping safe. So as I said in my last video, we're going to be making spaceships today, so I hope you're all excited and looking forward to making some spaceships today. Um, just before you get started, please make sure you've got a painting top or an art shirt or something on so you don't get any of your clothes dirty and put something down on your table like newspaper or if you've got a um, tablecloth that you can paint on, pop that down just to protect anything you're working on. So I made a spaceship in advance to show you. So I'm just going to show you my spaceship that I made here. So here we go. It's my little spaceship, my number three on it. It was really nice and simple to make. I did paint it all in advance before I stuck it all together. You can do that or you can just go with the flow. Um, so here we go. This is my spaceship. It's really nice and simple. It's quite fun. Um, if you've got Lego or Playmobil, you can put them inside and make them fly around the world. Or you could attach some string to either end or the inside of it and maybe dangle it around in your house or in your bedroom somewhere. It might be quite a nice little touch to have in your room right now. So just before we get started, I'll tell you everything you need. So I have a toilet roll, um, a piece of card. So this is just from an Amazon delivery box. Um, you can use cereal box, anything, any kind of card that isn't too tough. Um, paints, paint brushes, a bit of water to um, clean any paint brushes if you're painting. And I've got a couple of belt tips. So I've got some Sharpies um, and some scissors and sellotape or glue, either will do. Right, and let's get started on our spaceship. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna get my card and I'm just gonna measure out a triangle, or try and make a triangle for the wings. So just to make sure I've got it the right size, I'm just going to place my toilet roll on the top of it just so I can get a rough idea of how big I want the wings to be because you don't want them to be too small or too big so I'm just going to pop that on and with a pen or a pencil I'm just going to draw a really rough kind of shape for what I want it to be so I've just done a really rough outline like that it's not perfect but that's fine it all it does the job and I'm going to get that bit cut out You might want to get an adult to help you with the cutting. Sometimes cutting card can be a bit, a bit tough on your fingers. So maybe someone at home, maybe older brother or sister or an adult, they could come and help you. Get that all done. There we go. So that's my, my wingspan done. And I've just made the edges. Instead of making them a nice pointy corner, vertices, um, I've just rounded them just to make it look a little bit nicer. I think it looks a bit more like a spaceship. Right, and that's it, that's my wings done. So I can just check what it's gonna look like. I'm pretty happy with that, quite happy. So now the next bit, this is probably the trickiest bit. You might want an adult again to help you with this bit. I'm just gonna draw a very rough square in the middle of my toilet roll to make a little hole for a person to sit inside. So it doesn't have to be perfect, but it is a bit tricky to get the scissors or knife, whatever's being used, preferably scissors in there so I think yeah an adult ask an adult to help you with this bit I'm gonna stick my scissors in like I said it is a bit tough so once you've got them in it's not so bad but get, get an adult to help <laughs> there we go and I'm just gonna cut a square like they're not the easiest to cut but we'll get there cut the square Once you've kind of got it cut out, you can sort of tidy it up a little bit. I haven't got the best scissors right now, but we're making do. There we go. So I've got the main body of my ship and my wings. Now you might want to paint it now before you glue it together, but I'm just going to glue it together and then I'm going to decorate it. So I'm going to leave the painting the whole thing. So you can either use a glue stick and I would suggest gluing down the middle of your wings. Get a good bit of glue on there. And press your toilet roll on. Make sure 
like your little hole for your people is at the top. Otherwise, they'll be sitting wonky in the spaceship. They won't know where they're going. So you can use that or you can use some sellotape, pull a piece off, fold it over backwards so you get double-sided tape or if you've got double-sided tape at home and you can stick it on like that. So it's whatever you've got at home really should work fine. So there we go. I've got the main bit of my rocket ship. Now I can start to decorate it. So now because this one I made, this is just a kind of gray one with some blue, red and yellow. I want to make my next one. I want to give it some fire. Oh, I can actually see my tape's not, my glue's not worked that well. So I think I actually just gonna go and tape it on. Okay. I'll show you how I do it. So I get my roll of tape and I fold it backwards on itself like that. And it makes a bit of a circle. I'll just pop it on there. That's actually worked better. Maybe don't use glue, just use some tape. <laughs> so, like I said, I'm gonna paint this one different. I'm gonna make it fiery. So I should think about what colors I might need for fire. Any ideas? I'm thinking I'm gonna go for some oranges, some reds, some yellows, and let's see how that goes. So I'm just gonna have a bit of fun painting it now and I will show you what it looks like at the end. So, give me a few moments and I'll get the painting done. So, I'm going to go for some. Now this is quite nice because because I've got it on the um, newspaper, I can just paint straight onto the newspaper. I don't have to worry about making any mess. You can get right under there. Mix this all in. Got some nice fiery colours in there. There we go, I've got one wing started to go. Might see if I can get this one looking even more like flames. Oh yeah, that's better. That one's nicer. And you know what, once it's all dry you can go and draw things on with a felt tip. So I'll show you on the other one because I drew some bits in with black on the other one that I made and it just made things sort of stand out when you put a line around in black pen it just makes things pop pop out and look a bit more a bit clearer a bit more obvious so it's actually gone very orange I shouldn't have really mixed as much together as I did I just got excited about the colors they've all been there haven't we So, you could think you might want to make your spaceship have different jobs. You might want like a black one for secret agent jobs, or you might want a rainbow one to brighten up everybody's day, especially if you're going to have it in your room. You want it to make you happy and make you smile. So maybe a rainbow one might be quite nice. So that's my fiery one so far. There we go, just leave that out to dry and you should be mostly done. What I would suggest you do when it is completely dry, like I said, if you get a felt tip, a black Sharpie or a black permanent marker if you've got one, and just draw around some of the details on it. So if I look at this one, I drew a black line around my numbers and I drew a black line around my patterns here just to make it stand out a bit more. And I think that gives it a bit of definition, makes it a bit clearer. But obviously you've got to wait for your paint to dry before you start to do that. So when I, when this one's all dry, I think I'd put a black line around the box and maybe a black line around the um, edge of the wings. And that'll make it stand out a bit more. There we go, I've got two lovely rocket ships now, which I'm quite excited about. I should leave them there. There we go. Ooh. And again, if you do any of these, I would love to see any pictures. You can send them in to me at school. That would be fantastic. Um, for our next one, I thought it'd be nice, since the weather's been so good lately, to do some leaf and petal painting. So for the next video, all you'll need with you is some paints, 
some leaves and petals. You can pick some from outside. Try not to pick any wild flowers and things like that. We want them to stay, but if you've got any flowers in your garden, you can maybe take some petals. Um, and yeah, paint. So we're gonna do some leaf and petal painting. Okay, I hope you all keep safe and enjoyed this little video and I will hopefully see you all soon.